Hi everybody, this is Diane. I am going to show you the Seashell Journal today. As I was hoping, I did get it finished, um, sewn together, and the dangle put on it last night. And then I also fussy cut some of the seashells that I got from um, Cindy in my Happy Mail yesterday. So I did add some of the seashell images to the journal pages. And now it is complete and ready to go to its new home. So it is in my shop waiting for the first person to um, go and select it. So I'm going to show that to you and uh, the extra bundle that I have. And I did put together a bundle very similar to this for the Seahorse Journal, which I already sold. So, um, and then after that, I'm going to show you um, the extra extras that I have that I'm going to be selling in a separate bundle. If you want to make your own seashore, seashell themed journal for summertime. So let's just take a look at the journal first. I created it with a Reader's Digest book cover in this beautiful turquoise cover color. I added this gorgeous blue seam binding and I did a little collage on the front with this image which I'm not even sure where it came from and I backed it with some pretty scrapbook paper and did a little collage here. This is a piece of vellum that was, I think it was supposed to represent coral and you'll see other vellum, little tiny vellum pieces in the journal that I used, um, from, they're from Stampin' Up! and I sprayed them because <coughs> they were just a clear white vellum. And this is a lighthouse postage stamp and this is a fussy cut from one of the field guides that I have. Um, I used the same fabric on the spine as I used on the seahorse journal, so it has some seashells and coral. In the back I just left with a beautiful pattern. I did add this pretty blue trim, and it's the same trim as on the seahorse journal. And I added a charm with some beautiful blues, a dangle, um, and there's a little clamshell at the bottom. kind of a big dangle for this little book. Uh, the book measures, I think it's, oh, let me measure just to make sure. I never remember numbers. Five and a quarter by seven and five eighths. It has three signatures. I used the Ex Libris book plate that actually came in this Reader's Digest and then added this die cut fish that I created. I have a video showing how I made these uh, vellum pockets. They were sprayed, it was a plain vellum and it was sprayed with inks. And then I cut the shape out and then um, cut a frame to go around the back because the vellum is glued to this side. It's actually glued to the frame and then glued to that side. And I added some pretty seashells to decorate the frame, and you can see there's a lobster behind the vellum. This came out of a children's book, this quote, and it says, the land at the edge of the sea is called the seashore. And there's the lobster that came out of the seashore field guide that I have. This is some painted paper, some dyed paper that I made, and it was um, had a hole right in the seam in the fold, so I reinforced it with this colored paper. This is one of the images that Cindy sent me yesterday, and so since there's a lovely lady on the beach on the front, and I did include oh a few postcards, I think, with some lovely ladies, I went ahead and included these bathing beauties. There's this woman and there's a cute little girl. So I cut those out and added them, and then this is um, tea bag paper that I sprayed and cut into a strip and then made a ruffle. I did some stenciling. This is just a little 8 by 8 scrapbook paper and it says seize the day, S-E-A-S, -E and there's a lighthouse on it. And I made this pocket with a um, piece of pretty blue cardstock that I embossed with my Big Shot and I have this um, embossing folder called Sea Life and it's got seaweed and stuff. 
and I made this tag. There's some wallpaper that looks like clamshells, and this image came out of a 1912 catalog. That's the actual image, you know, actual piece cut from the catalog. Some scrapbook paper, a little die cut, and these were a little um, digital here, I should say. These were die cuts that I made with my paint paper that I painted. And then these are some elements that came with the Stampin' Up. So this set here, it was this, and the seaweed, and um, some vellum coral, and some glittery starfish and sand dollars. So if you see any of those little pieces, they came with that Stampin' Up set, which also came with these. We were supposed to uh, decorate this with all of those elements, but I didn't do that. I just included all the elements. This is a um, digital from Antique Papery, and I used pages that came with this kit, and it's called the Seashore Collection. I will link that below. This is a page from the Seashore Collection. Just so pretty. And I um, printed a grid design on the back of it for journaling. And this is from a napkin. I had one piece of a napkin. It wasn't even a whole napkin, but it had quite a few bits on it. So it has this phrase by the sea and then a bunch of seashells. So I did get to use quite a bit of that in the book. I made a little cluster here with a piece of batik fabric, just a punched circle and a digital. I took the scraps of the embossed cardstock and made little pockets and just added a little digital label. And there are a lot of vintage and antique pieces in this journal, and this is one of them. It is a um, calling card for Mary Bean, and it has a seabed on it with the seaweed and some shells. So I tucked that right in that little pocket. I had three little pieces, so that was perfect for making a little pocket and um, adding those little pieces in each signature. Some more stenciling, and this is an image. Um, this might have been cut. So these shells that you're going to see throughout the book, they're either cut from my field guides that I had or from the collage sheets that um, Cindy sent me yesterday. This is one from Cindy. I do know that. Um, this is a tag from the digital kit, and I added it to a paint chip and then just put some vintage notebook paper on the back and just included a page from the field guide. And it's clipped on with a pretty turquoise teardrop clip. This is uh, the scrapbook paper I used, I didn't mention. That is from Stampin' Up! and it's a new one, so it should be available now if you go to Stampin' Up!'s website or if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, it's called Sand and Sea, I believe. That's from Antique Papery. This is from the collage pages that Cindy sent me. And here is another Stampin' Up! page and another piece of that wallpaper. And I added a couple of the digital rectangles to it. They're, I think they were to decorate slides. And there's a field guide page in there and another antique piece, which is an oyster shell with an image inside it. This was from a children's book about mermaids, and this was a very sturdy page. But I um, backed it with this um, leftover piece from Liana Scrapp's um, Sand and Sea collection, Sand and Sea digital journal kit. I used most of that, or a lot of that, in the Seahorse journal, but I did use some of the pages in this journal. But I had an, a couple extra pages that got printed on cardstock by mistake, and I didn't print anything on the back, so I just used them to do things like this with. And this image, I'm not sure where it came from. It was in my stash. I backed it with a piece, again, of that um, paper. And there's a little vellum piece here with some 
starfish on it that I think I got when I ordered something from another Etsy seller and this was in my freebies. This came out of a children's book. This is part of that napkin. And I just had a couple sheets of this note paper. Here's another vintage postcard. At the seashore, if the other boys would only stay away. He's the only man there. So I think maybe this is a reprint. It looks old, but it says 2008 down here. So it might be a reprint. But look how old it looks. So maybe that's just the stock number. I don't know. But it's in there because it's cute. And this is another piece of that of this paper that I just fussy cut around and turned into a tuck spot. A piece of coral that I um, die cut with my colored paper. I did some belly bands with a lot of fussy cut seashells from the field guides. And on this one I added a um, lighthouse postage stamp. I don't think I did that on the others, but this one has it. And then I took a page from the field guide and um, a piece of paper, scrapbook paper, and made a little booklet. Some plain paper inside. And then on the back is another piece of that paper. It's from that 8x8 nautical paper, so it had some different, more neutral patterns that I used for um, the, for these booklets and for these little things I'm going to show you right here. Just little things that open up like that and you can journal. And I took another fussy cut from the field guides to make a little spot to tuck it into. Here's a second signature with another vellum, colored vellum pocket. And this one has some seaweed behind it. It's a little hard to see because this is a darker um, portion of the vellum. And there's the little girl on the beach with some more of that colored um, tea bag paper. Another textured pocket. There's another of those neutral um, nautical papers. Another tag made with the wallpaper and an image from the old catalog and some little die cut fish. This is from Liana Scraps. So the digitals, the pages are either from Liana Scraps or um, Antique Papery and I will link them both below. This is a stationary sheet. There's another cluster. There's another textured pocket, and this one has another um, calling card, and it's got a different seabed design, and Estella Shearer. Here I just paper clipped, this is one of the antique, no, it's a Liana Scraps page. I paper clipped a field guide page and then this came out of a children's book. It's got these children on the beach and they're they're calling out to this one over here. And the teacher wrote what part of the sea is called the seashore. That question is answered on your very first page. I just um, glued it to a, a piece of digital lined paper and one of those um, coral pieces that I sprayed must be got laid on this. Um, so I really like that. So I use that. Piece of the napkin. I had all these different embellishments and I had to think of ways to use them like this book page. I wanted to use as many as I could. Antique papery. The ones with the speckles are antique papery. Here's another wallpaper pocket with a lighthouse stamp and a digital and a postcard of people on the beach with seashells scattered. It says shelling and swimming 
Fort Myers, Florida. I just made this little pocket with a, a page from the field guide and some scrapbook paper and another of those tags that I made with the mermaid book. Aren't those pages beautiful? Oops. Oh, I almost tried to tear that tuck spot right off. This is from a children's book that I recently got at the flea market about fishes. And I left this on here. It says copyright 1916. I just thought it was a really pretty illustration. It's got the little boy with a net and a starfish. Some more seashells. And then this vintage postcard. Seen on the beach, 4th Avenue, Bradley Beach, New Jersey. Look how people dressed at the beach. And it's dated 1925. I can't read that word, but then it says, Boy, you ought to be here. They think your picture is pretty nice from Franklin. <laughs> Earl. It's addressed to Earl. I made another pocket here with a scrap of the scrapbook paper and some of my trim. And this old postcard about the story of shells. It's not used. And a field guide page. A die cut fish that I did with my big shot. You see my battery lights flashing, so I'm going to go a little faster. The next belly band, and all of these seashells are fussy cut. And they all have the same pages inside all these books. And then the next flip. And the last page has another window here and another piece of seaweed behind it. piece of stationery. And the last textured pocket. And this is um, came from cereal, I think. But it says famous people and places. And this is um, the Great Barrier Reef. It says Wheaties, W-E-E-T-I-E-S, Vitabrits, Krispies. And another um, antique papery. Maybe that's Liana Scraps. Anyway, it's one. It's something from one of the digitals, and I added it to a paint chip again. Cut this out of one of the pages that Cindy just sent me. Love this page from Liana Scraps, and she has uh, lined papers. There are two different ones. One that had the seashells around it. It's like this one, <clears throat> but it has lines. So there's that one, and then there's this one, and I use half and half. And another pocket with a piece of napkin on it. And then this is another antique piece. It's just a shell, very, very sturdy. And I hand colored these uh, seam binding pieces that I used when I hand colored the paper that I used for my die cuts. Another pocket with the coral and an embossed piece and a postage stamp of a lighthouse. Napkin. The note, pa note paper. And then we have another postcard with a beautiful lady on the beach. Come on in, the water's fine. This is dated 1966. I had this piece of um, bias tape that I had stitched this fancy stitch on and I had it in my stash so I just put that on top of the pocket. And the last belly band. Each booklet is used 
is made with a different one of those nautical papers. And then there's the last little thing that flips open. I put a little pocket on the back with a postage stamp on it. And I included this postcard that Cindy just sent me. I had to trim off the border, so I trimmed off part of what was on the back here. And another page from the children's book and a post uh, library card that has my signature on the back. So as I said, this is now in my shop, so you can go over there if you're interested. I will, I, I have to say that um, I no longer accept commissions. I haven't, or uh, not, I don't accept commissions and I also do not accept uh, reservations. I don't make reservations for my books. Um, and I haven't for quite a while now, but I have enough new people here um, on my channel that I'm just going to um, restate that. I don't do reservations because it got to the point where I wasn't just putting books in my shop anymore. They were always reserved for people. So I would just like to put them in my shop and you know whoever gets them gets them and I'm sorry but it's the best way. It's what works for me. So that's how I do it. So now let me show you this other packet. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna come with that book. This wrapping paper that Cindy sent me. Some leftover pieces of the scrapbook paper, the Stampin' Up scrapbook paper. Some of the collage images from Cindy. She sent me a lot of them. Some field guide pages. These are some more of the Stampin' Up pages, scraps. And then these are some of the field guide pages that I cut some pieces out of, but there's still some usable pieces on there. There's another image. It's uh, it's starting to tear there, so you'd have to glue it down to something, which you would anyway, because it's very fragile. Um, a card, one of the Stampin' Up cards that you can decorate with these embellishments. So this little bag just has a tag that matches the wrapping paper. It has the lighthouse postage stamps, a couple of them. And then um, I divided up all of these little pieces that came with the Stampin' Up stuff. So you get all of this along with the journal. And um, remember that there are a lot of antique and vintage items inside of this journal that you get. The other kit that I want to put in my shop or some more leftovers. I'm going to send along this piece and maybe some of the other pages that came with that nautical. Yeah, I, I just I don't have them in here, but there were 8x8 eight eight pages with different nautical designs. So I'll, I'll include some of those pages in this kit. Um, some postcards, and these aren't as old as the ones I put in the book, but there's this one and this one. And this one is German. A greeting card, some field guide bits and pieces. There's another postcard. Some pages from that children's book. And this seashell booklet. It's um, a mermaid's guide to favorite friends and teachers. fussy cut seashell. I have one postage stamp left. Oh, there's another page from the children's book. The field guides, um, I took pages out of them and used them and included them in the other books, but whatever is left is in these books, and there's a lot left. So two field guides. One is seashores and one is seashells. Three of the Stampin' Up! cards with envelopes. And then this little pack, so the Stampin' Up! bits came in this little plastic envelope. <clears throat> so it has a lot of those pieces along with some of my die cuts that I made and some uh, at least one fussy cut in there. And I'll put this stamp in there. So this let me, let me see if I can grab those pages so I can show you what pages will be in it. Let 
Okay, yes, I found the pages. So I have whales, and this one, and lobster. And what, I'll just include all of these pages. And I took out what I wanted. I bought this set on clearance, this book, and there's a lot of pages. Um, I used what I wanted, and I probably won't use any more. So I'm just going to include all those pages. So that is part of this set right here, okay? So all of this is in my shop, and this book is in my shop. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you will come back to see what my next project is going to be. I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.